Hi guys, welcome to the next segment of 7 Minutes with Seema. Um, this segment is for both your shoulders and your hips. I feel like it's probably the most two common places I'm often requested to open shoulders and hips. So I found a way to sort of work both for all of you. So squat ahead and come into downward facing dog. Um, by the way, I'd really recommend doing my warm up video but before most of my segments. I just released it last week, so check in with that. Um, so I'm going to start to just start getting you straight moving into these flows so that we can really work on opening up. Go ahead and come into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up and back, bend your knee from here. Exhale, bring your right knee over to your left elbow and hold. And then inhale, lift your right leg up, bend your knee. Exhale, bring your right knee over to your left elbow. Inhale, lift it straight up and back this time. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Turn your back foot down, lift your arms alongside your ears, warrior one. Stay here for a few breaths, sinking your right knee right over your right ankle. Press the outer edge of your left foot. Relax your face, your jaw, your eyes. And then interlace your hands behind your back. Draw your interlaced hands away from your low back. And then exhale, bow forward, allowing the crown of your head to come to the inside of your shin. Now, a lot of us are going to want to dip our butt cheek over to the right side of the room. Once you really pull your right hip straight back as you allow your head to bow down. And then from here, start to bring your torso parallel to the ground. Continue to reach the interlaced hands away from your low back. Let your neck be soft, or your head be soft so the neck stays nice and long. And then start to straighten your right leg and bring your torso so it's right over your right leg. Release your hands, float your right hand right above your right ankle so you're using your core to hold you up here. And then from here, sweep your left arm over your left ear and bring your right arm in front of your body. So normally we would rest our forearm on top of our thigh. Today I'm going to have you in, reach it in front of your, your torso. So just using the core a little bit more. Fantastic. And then inhale all the way up. Turn your toes parallel and then turn your toes out, heels in. Maybe walk your feet in just a little bit closer. And then take your right arm on your left. Sink down nice and deep. Push your knees out and try to bring your torso as parallel as you can to the floor. Lift your elbows up. Pull your forearms away from your face. Sink down nice and deep. Continue to push your knees away. Nice deep breathing. Two more breaths right here. <laughs> this is a nice one. Hard one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, warrior two, front of the room. So bend your right knee back over your right ankle. Reach forward. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, reach back. Your gaze can be over your left foot or at your right hand, really opening up through your right side body. And then bend your knee as you take your hands down, coming through Chaturanga. Hug your elbows in as you lower. Inhale, open it up, upward facing your cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up and back. Bend your knee, open up through your hip. Exhale, bring your left knee and tap your right elbow. Inhale, lift up and back. Exhale, bring your left knee and tap your right elbow. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, drop your back foot down. Reach your arms along um, side your ears. Interlace your hands behind your back. Make sure your opposite index finger is in, like, on top so it should feel different. Pull your interlaced hands away from your low back. And then exhale, bow forward, letting your head come down. And again, remember, you don't want your butt cheeks to, to come out, so you're going to continue to pull it straight back behind you as you let your head hang. Just opening through your shoulders and your hips right here. And then inhale, bring your torso so it's parallel to the ground. And then start to straighten your left leg. Release your hands, letting your left hand float just above your left ankle. Looking over your right fingertips, triangle pose. And then from here, bring your left arm in front of your torso. Your right arm over your ear, extended side angle, but floating so you're not using your hands. Nice deep breathing. Really turning your chest toward the ceiling. 
And then inhale all the way up to standing, parallel your feet. And again, you may want to heel toe your feet in just a little bit closer. Heels in, toes out. Left arm under right. Sink down nice and deep. Push your knees out. Lift your elbows up. Draw your forearms away from your face. And just sitting into this, allowing your hips to open. Nice deep breathing. A few more breaths right here. And then inhale all the way up to standing. Exhale, warrior two, front of the room. Inhale, reverse triangle, reach back, opening up through your side body. And then as you come down, bend your knee, chaturanga. Inhale, open it up, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, nice deep breathing. Let your head be heavy. Shake it, yes, shake it, no. And then from here, we're just going to work on a little arm balance. So I want you to take your right foot forward, right in between your hands. Slide your right arm right underneath your right leg. Place it down. So all ten fingers are now facing forward. Your back heel is lifted. From here, slowly start to walk your right foot off to the side. And perhaps it will lift up and your back leg will lift as well. And then you can step it back. Chaturanga. On the other side, I'll show you how to jump it back if you want. And push back down or facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg straight up and back. Exhale, step it between your hands. Slowly crawl your left arm underneath your left leg. All ten fingers are facing forward. And then same thing, so you're just going to walk your left leg over to the left. And your back leg will lift. Flex your left foot. And then if you want to jump it back, you just move that leg back. Push back, downward facing dog. Nice deep breathing. Drop down to your knees. Push it back. Child's pose. Roll up. Thank you guys so much for checking in. That was shoulders and hips. Hope you feel great. Have a good day.